Hey everybody, how's it going? So, it is about 29 degrees right now outside. It's freezing. There's no other way to put it. It's freezing. And I was passing by on 3rd Avenue and I saw a bunch of bubbles and I kind of had to do a double take because there were, like, remember the last time I showed you all those bubbles in the street? I really thought that that was a joke. I thought that that was like a failed attempt or someone put that there as a meme. But this is actually serious. So it's 29 degrees and people are eating outside. But outside is very windy. So what they do is they take the outside and they make it inside via what appears to be a bubble. You remember the, the, there were those episodes of Batman Beyond where there were the people in the bubbles? And there you have like three people in a bubble. Some of these bubbles have four people in them. This, this is a this is bubble. And this is one of those places, like I don't want to crap on it because I've never been here, but most of these restaurants, this is the type of restaurant where it's really kind of like a bar that just so happens to serve burgers is what it kind of looks like. I could be wrong, but that's just my experience of places like this. You know, the kind of place where you're going to get a, a generic burger, and the generic burger is going to cost you uh, somewhere around like, a, you know, burger, fries for two people, and a beer. It's going to be like 40 or 50 bucks. And what's, what's crazy to me is not that generic food that's really expensive is, uh, is going, but it's going at 29 degrees and people are actually paying for it. That, that does blow my mind. And one of the things I find interesting, particularly is this inside outside aspect of the equation, where you have, uh, you have, you're not allowed to eat inside because inside is COVID. But if you go outside and then create a tent and zip it up, that is now outside, but you're technically now inside. So the question then becomes, if someone eats inside of that tent for a long period of time, is that tent then going to get COVID in it? Because, you know, again, if, it, it's, if it's coming out of droplets and you have the mist in the air or on the sides of the, the plastic and all that, are you then going to get COVID? And if the COVID is destroyed as a result of it not being fully sealed because they didn't zip it up all the way, I imagine if they zipped it up all the way and fully sealed it, you would run out of oxygen and then die in the middle of your meal, at which point you would not be able to leave a good tip. And, you know, the people are paid mostly on tips here. At that point, they don't do that. So, if the air flowing openly is going to solve the problem, what if you open the windows? I'm just kind of curious, because a lot of these places have shutters. So, instead of building an outside-inside infrastructure so that you could pretend that you're outside when you're actually inside, but it's outside that it's inside, Kind of, it really does make you wonder, like, what is the definition? What is the definition of inside or outside? Because it, 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 couldn't you just open the window? All the windows. Now, you may say, well, then the restaurant has to get the windows taken out. That's probably cheaper than building an entire house outside of your restaurant so that you can pretend you're outside when you're actually now inside. Anyway, let me know what you think in the comments down below. I could, I, this, this amazes me, because I really thought that this, this shit would all die when winter came. It is 29 degrees right now. My hand is a different color than it was when I left the apartment. And people are actually eating outside, which to me, again, is crazy. Like, the idea of... I, I just took my glove off so that I could start my uh, camera here. And uh, the idea of operating utensils and a fork and all that with when it's 29 degrees is just absolutely crazy. Like at the very least, our ancestors, you know, tens of thousands of years ago, when it was winter time, when they were eating outside, inside, outside, they would get some firewood in the cave and they would at least get to eat around the fire. So they're outside, but they're warm. And this, you don't even have the benefit of a fire. We, are, we have really gone back in time. Yeah. I'll see you all later. This is just a, another, more of the immense genius that we have going on here in New York City. And uh, I hope you learned something, uh, particularly those of you in states who uh, who don't have outdoor, indoor, outdoor, indoor dining. Oh my, okay, this, oh my God, they put doors on it. Okay, I thought this was the end of the video. I can't, I gotta see that. I love seeing the chin bras, by the way. The chin bra mask is, is a particular style. All right, I'm probably not gonna be able to make it to that side of the street. Okay, no, I can, I can, I can, I got it. I gotta show you this. This is fucking hysterical. They have a patio door. That is a patio door. I know that. Look at that. That's a patio door. 
That's a fucking patio door. That's in that's inside, motherfucker. That is not outdoor dining. <laughs> oh my god. No, because you know how I know that on my first store, I did a whole video on this a few years ago where I couldn't afford to get the proper four or five hundred dollar swinging store door. I ran out of money when I was putting together the first door. So what I did is I wound up uh, using a patio door. I actually got a patio door for like 50 or 40 bucks at Home Depot when I used that. So I recognize that thing anywhere. Yo, this is hysterical. They built a fucking restaurant. Look at this shit. It's like they even wrote on it with a Sharpie like I did. This is crazy. Okay, that's some. Well, okay, you have a you have a roof. You have walls. You have a ceiling. Come on. Come on. This is what the Blasio, the Blasio. Actually, I kind of think I got it right the first time. This is what the Blasio and Cuomo brought us to. You know, here's the funny thing. If they were up for election again, they probably win. They probably win. That's the, that's the sad part. Anyway, that's it for today, and as always, I hope you learned something.